Member for Richmond North Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Premier has a habit of promising something, re-promising it, and then breaking that promise. The Premier has told my Richmond constituents twice, not once, since 2017 that the NDP would build a new acute tower at the Richmond Hospital. And yet, this budget shows the project is still not approved and there's no money or timetable to advance it. The MLA for Richmond Steveston promised, I quote, shovels in the ground in 2021. Can the Premier tell us why the Richmond Hospital Tower was a priority before his slap election, but not after it? Minister of Health. Well, Honourable Speaker, unfortunately, the Richmond Hospital was not a priority prior to 2017. However, it has become a major priority of the government. A concept plan was approved. That concept plan was upgraded and the project was expanded. And we're proceeding to build the Richmond Hospital. Member for Richmond North Centre and Supplemental. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I guess the Minister is lacking a concrete response to my question. The pandemic has shown yet again how important the hospital is to my community, despite the fact it's overcrowded and does not meet current building codes. The Premier promised in July to be back in the fall to advance the project, but he decided on an election instead. The project is over six months behind. It's still not approved. There's no money, and our community is concerned. And the NDP MLAs in Richmond have been sitting silently on the sidelines, refusing to stand up for patients. Why is the Premier stalling on keeping his promise to the people of Richmond for a new hospital tower? Minister of Health. Honourable Speaker, it will be more than a hospital tower. It's a significant project. It's at uh, a high priority in Vancouver Coastal Health's uh, capital plan. It's been approved at concept plan stage, and the minister is a former member of the executive council. Uh, to know that that means there is money attached to the project, and a lot of it, and a lot more than was originally in place when we first approved the concept plan in 2018. This is an, it will be an extraordinary project. We are building the hospital for the coming decades in Richmond. We've made it a priority when it had never been a priority before. The member talks about months of delay. There were years of delay. And that's why the Richmond MLAs, who are pro advocates for this project, including the member, are going to be delighted as we move forward in this project in the coming years because it is needed in Richmond, just as the new urgent and primary care centre is needed in Richmond, which we've just opened, just uh, like increasing the support for seniors in Richmond was needed, and we delivered on that too. We're going to continue to the health care interests of the people of Richmond. Thank you. Member for Richmond North Centre. 